you can process billboard orders, you must first enter each billboard face as an individual part. To accomplish this, we will select Setup from the main toolbar, followed by Pricing Setup, and finally, Adjust Part Information Setup. Begin by selecting View Parts by Product, a menu or tree listing all product categories will appear in the window in the lower left of your screen. Expand the category for billboard lease. Expand the subcategory billboard lease and select billboard list. A template containing all of the data fields available for the billboard part will be displayed in the main screen. Two sample parts are included in the system for user reference. As these two examples will not be part of your billboard inventory, we will set them inactive, which will remove them from the selection list in the billboard product. To do this, we will first select Edit from the Action Toolbar at the right of the screen. We will then uncheck the box for each part in the active column. To create a new billboard part, we will clone an existing billboard and edit the data. Keep in mind that each part represents a single billboard face, and entering all the faces on a single structure in sequence will minimize data input. Now we will look at each column in the template and detail the information required. The active column determines whether or not a part will be available for selection on a pricing form. Once a part is used in the system, it has associated financial transactions. Therefore, those parts cannot be deleted. Setting them to inactive will remove them from lists and make them unselectable. Check the box and set the new billboard active. The second column is the part name. Each name must be unique and should clearly identify the billboard to the user. The field is alphanumeric and the name will display on both estimate invoice and work order. The next column, part category, contains the default billboard part category billboard list and should not be changed. The next column contains a drop-down list of the available billing cycles and simply refers to a single invoice period. The selection will be the default value auto-filled on the pricing form. The selection may be changed when a lease is created, therefore the selection should be what is most common for this billboard. The information will display on both estimate invoice and work order. The next column is for the billboard reference date. The reference date is used to calculate a valid start date for a particular billing cycle that will cause all leases for that cycle type to fall due on the same day. This is designed to facilitate batch processing of lease orders. The value in this field is not used to calculate start dates for monthly, quarterly, and annual cycle types. Where cycles are based on a specific number of days rather than the beginning of a month, we need a reference to start counting from. Therefore, each day-based cycle type should share a common reference date. In example, Setting the reference date for 28-day leases to June 30, 2011 would generate a start date every 28 days thereafter in perpetuity. From that calculation, an appropriate start date may be selected. The following column, period rate, contains the default dollar amount to be charged at time of invoice. This value is displayed on the pricing form and may be overridden or changed when a lease is created. The value
value is displayed on the estimate invoice but is not shown on the work order. The billboard height and billboard width are nominal references to the general size of the billboard and are entered in decimal feet. 8.5 represents 8 feet 6 inches or 8 and a half feet. The information displays both on estimate, invoice, and work order. Billboard lighting is a user editable selection list that displays the type of lighting associated with the billboard. For the estimate invoice, a blank field will display as non-illuminated and a selection will display as a lighted billboard. A selection in this column will display the specific type on the work order and is designed to prepare the installation crew for routine maintenance while on site. The next column, billboard number lamps, is the lamp count for the type of lighting selected. As this part pertains to only one billboard face, this is not the count for the entire structure. The billboard meter number is for reference to associate a specific utility bill to a specific billboard. The number should be duplicated for each space supplied by that meter. The reference may be either a utility bill, a utility account number, or a specific meter serial number. The following two columns refer to the sign permit with the first an alphanumeric field for the permit number. The second is a user editable selection list for the authority that issued the permit. The next three columns will provide a description of the location of the billboard for both the estimate invoice and work order. The location municipality is a user editable selection list designed to provide a predefined regional area. It may contain territories, zones, municipal areas, or any other divisions the user may want. The location field is designed to provide specific details for the location of the structure. The facing column contains a user editable selection list that should detail the direction the board is facing and distinguish it from additional boards on the same structure. Billboard construction is a user editable selection list intended to describe the billboard structure and prepare the installation crew for general maintenance and inspection. The next three columns contain the geospatial data or GPS reference for the board location. The X and Y coordinates must be relevant to the coordinate system selected. This information displays on the work order. The final three columns contain information regarding land leased from private property owners for use as a billboard site. The first column contains the dollar value to be paid to the landowner for the lease term. The second column defines the term, and the final column the day or month the lease amount is due. Before you can process billboard orders, you must first enter each. With that, we've entered all of the data in the fields for a single billboard. To continue adding billboards or additional parts, we repeat the process and continue to clone line by line until we have all of our billboards entered. With the final entry, we will then select Save from the Action Toolbar on the right and save all of the entries we just completed. This concludes the part setup for the billboard product. And for more information, you can continue with the next video in the series, order entry, on the basic training web page for Sirius Software.